Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful seed beads and bicons bracelet. It's really easy to make and I will show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this video you will be able to make it. I have also a tutorial for similar earrings and I will link it here at the eye icon. So if you like what I'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And of course if you make beautiful jewelries um, following my tutorials you could share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. And you could also check my new merch store where you could find pillows, hoodies, uh, mugs, phone covers and so many other stuff and the designs are made especially from me for you and when you buy stuff from there you support me, my channel and my mission. You can find links here at the icon and down there in description. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys and for this video what I'm going to use are three colors of 11 on seed beads, 3 millimeter black bicons and here I'm using a clasp and a jump ring, scissors, flat nose pliers but I use them only to squeeze my monofilament to go through my size 10 beading needle and because I'm using monofilament and it should be squeezed to go through size 10 beading needle if you use regular beading thread you won't need to squeeze it because it's made flat and uh, this monofilament is 0.00 6 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters and I like to work with it because it's clear. And now I'm going to take comfortable length of thread on my needle, let's say an arm span, and I'm going to start. Okay guys, and I'm going to take 14 of these beautiful silver seed beads. Okay, I have my 14 here. Okay, 14 beads and I'm going to slide them down I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I will make a knot by making here a loop and going twice or three times through the loop I've made and I'm going to pull okay I'm pulling and then I will take my needle and I will go through some beads in this direction and pull again and now what I need is just one seed bead and when I take it I want to go through seven seed beads now I'm going through four in one movement then I'm going to go through three seed beads again and I'm going to, to take one more seed bead and then again I want to go through seven beads okay okay now this is what I have this shape and in my next step what I want to do is go through all of those beads keep this middle part here the newly added bead go through the following and here what I need to take are two black beads and I'm going back in circle through this first after this angle bead, I'm going in circle through this second bead here. And then if you can go through the next silver, okay. Okay, now I'm taking just one seed bead and I will go back in this black one, in this silver and into the following silver. This is what I do and I'm pulling okay. 
and I'm going to take one more black bead going through this black and through the following two silvers again black through the black and through the following two silvers one black go through the following two one black go here and one more black and with this black I'm finishing this part I'm skipping this central bead and going through the following silver like that and I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing from this side taking two black beads going back in circle through this silver and through the following silver then taking just one go back through this black and through the following two silvers black okay one more black okay one more one more okay and here I'm adding my last black bead just like that okay then what I want to do is go through this silver and through this black one from the other side and now I need one silver and I'm going through the following black to, to the center of my work okay then I'm going out of my next black one like that taking just one silver and going to the center of my work And I'm going to, to repeat this in the whole length of my work. okay now I'm here and my goal is to exit out of my next silver just like that now here is what I have and what I want to take here is one black bead black bicon I'm going through the following silver just like that and pulling one more black bead going through the silver one black going through the silver and here is the place where I will attach my clasp okay I will go here through these beads and through the silver and through this black one and here I'm going to take two black beads and I'm going to take my clasp okay. 
and then again two black beads and I will go back through this black bead here now I attach my clasp and I want to reinforce this Okay, it's better to reinforce it at least three times, okay? Now I will go through my next silver, just like that. And I'm going to take one more bicon, going through the following silver, like that. Then I'm taking one more go through the silver one more go through the silver and here at the end I'm going to add one more bicon if you think the bicons are uh, attached loose just go one more time around them to make them stay better and now what I want to do is exit again in my bicon okay and in order to do this I should go through some beads here in this direction just like that and I will go in my bicon and here my idea is to start my next element and for my next element I need silver black silver black and silver so it's five seed beads and I'm alternating silvers and black starting with silver okay and I will go back in circle like that okay now I will flip my work because it's easier to work in this direction and I will go through these two seed beads and through this central seed bead here and now what I need to take are 14 seed beads okay I have my 14 Okay, and I'm going to slide them down like that and I'm going back through this first one here and I have something, something similar to what I did before now I will flip again and what I want to do is go through seven seed beads four and then three and this is seven and I'm taking one seed bead going here through this tree then through the following four beads And I'm exiting here after this top bead and this is where I started my second row in my previous element okay so now what I want to do is take one seed bead this time I'm taking one black and not two blacks because one of my seed beads is already there and I'm going to use it okay taking one black seed bead going through this one that's already there and back in circle through this silver so the only different thing I'm doing here is that I'm adding one black bead instead of two because I'm using this one then I will go through my following silver 
and I will take one more silver and I will go back here through this silver and through the following okay this is what I do and because you already know how I did this I will let you do this by yourself like that and um, when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and I finished this row in the familiar way and I'm exiting here after this angle bit and after this silver bit after that okay and now here is the only place where I take two seed beads in my second element okay I take two and here I take one go through this silver and through the following And I will continue this until I'm up to here. And you notice what I do here in my last step. I'm not adding black bead because I will use this one that's already there as my last bead, okay? I'm going through it instead of adding a new one. And then I'm going through this black one and through the silver, just like that. And I'm going here through this silver as well. And now I will start the familiar step where I'm adding silver beads. So I'm going through this black one here. But pay attention. Instead of adding silver, what I do is that I use this silver that's already there. Okay. I'm going through it. And then I'm going through this black one. And I'm going through the following black, adding just one silver, going out of my next black, adding one silver. And I will do this until the end of this row and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step. I'm exiting out of this black one and I'm going through this silver and here inside this black, just like that. Then I'm going out of this black one and inside my silver here and I will start here adding bicons okay and I will do this until the end of this row here like that and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last bicon And now I will go around in circle 
reach here and start my next element. And my next element I'm making the same way I did this one here. And if you forgot how I did it, just rewind this video up to this part and repeat it. And when I repeat it several times, I'll be back to show you how to add more thread. Okay guys, and as I continue beading, I did one more element. And uh, here you see my thread is almost over. And I'm going to cut this one and add a new thread and I will show you how. So I'm exiting between those two beads, making a loop. And going once, then going second time through the loop I've made. And I'm pulling, pulling tight. And I will go through my next bead here and I will cut my thread. And I will put a new thread on my needle and I will show you how to add a new thread. Okay guys, and I put a new arm span of thread on my needle. That should be enough for two or three elements. Okay, and now what I want to do is add the new thread. And I'm doing it the same way I showed you before. I'm going through those two beads here, leaving a small tail and holding the tail. Then I'm making a loop and I'm going once then I'm going second time through the loop I've made, pulling, then I'm going through my next bead and I will cut my thread here, my tail thread and from here on I will continue beading and when I think I have enough elements I'll be back to show you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have. I have nine elements, you could do more if you want. And now I'm here where I want to attach my jump ring. And I will attach it by going here through this black bead. And I want to add five black beads and my jump ring. Here is what I have. And I want to go back through these beads. Okay, here is what I have. And you should do re reinforcement here to make your bracelet stronger. Okay, and you could do three times here, reinforcing this one, but now I will show you the next step. And it is to finish my bracelet by adding some bicons. Okay, I'm taking one bicon, going through here, and I'm going to finish my work like that, okay. Okay, I'm pulling. Okay, and here I want to make a knot and finish my bracelet and I'm making a knot by making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling. Then what I want to do is go through my following seed bead and cut my thread. Okay guys and now my bicons and seed beads bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos. And 
you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my new merch store where you could find pillows, hoodies, mugs, t-shirts, phone covers and so many other stuff. And the designs are made especially from me for you. They are a great present for you or for your bidding friends. Uh, when you buy stuff from there, you support me, my channel and my mission and you could find links down there in description and here at the eye icon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.